Sometimes, a long prepared plan of action depends on someone else's decision, on someone you've never heard about, and who has never heard about you. So here I am, on my way to pick up my visa, to go to Germany for our project. I have the feeling sometimes that people see their way of thinking, their way of expressing themselves through language as an extra thing than where it's placed. Like, there's a body and there's a brain. And this is the answer. It is communication. If I'm still being loyal of what I'm trying to develop here, is, it is a language. If there is a language, there is a channel for communication. If there is communication, there is an interchange of information. Dancing is kind of a tool to regulate your emotions. And first evidence shows that we can actually use specific dance movements to feel better. For example, if we're sad, or if we're frustrated, angry, enraged. Okay, we are ready for opening the answer. What do you think of For an experiment at the Max Planck Institute for Empirical Aesthetics, we need to create a library of ballet movements. It's for a broader project uh, that involves assessing aesthetic responses to dance from different cultures. And we've already done the Persian dance movement library. However, we needed to create now this amazing ballet uh, movement library. So our filmmaker team for already three years is uh, Sina Yassi and Fahima Farai from Trishish. And uh, we've been working together for creation of the other library of Persian dance movements. And of course, as they know everything about this project, every little detail, and they have been involved in creating and designing this experiment, they had to come and do it. Uh, however, we had a slight uh, little problem about a visa application and the German embassy did not grant the visa for our colleagues. It's been three years that we are working on this project. Should we give it up due to a visa rejection? Definitely not. So uh, our start is 9.30, right? Yeah. Or 9? Yeah, we will you will be here at 9. Okay, for us it's 11, it's, it's fine. 11. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. So, anything else? No. Yeah, we would love to have you here and go for your coffee, <laughs> but another time. Also. Yeah. 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 And that was when Stefan Redeker actually came into the picture, who is working at the Max Planck Institute for Empirical Aesthetics. He agreed to collaborate on this uh, remote filmmaking agile project. It happened a week ago that you came to my office and told me, oh, Sina can't come, he didn't get his visa. And it was for me like, oh, okay, who's doing the camera job? And then he told me that I should do it. And, uh, yeah, this uh, brought me here. And then we needed um, a lovely team of dancers. So the Dresden Frankfurt Dance Company um, agreed to uh, let one of their dancers collaborate with us. My name is Anne Jung. I'm a dancer, 20 years professional. My focus is more contemporary dance, um, but it has a big influence by um, the traditional ballet technique. My name is uh, Luisa Sanchez Canero. I'm the representative of the artistic direction of the Dresden Frankfurt Dance Company. I think there is a big part still to be played from our side, professionals from dance, to get closer to people once you know what we are doing, once you recognize how we are working with the choreographic material, then the appreciation is different. 
we've become knowledgeable in each other's fields thanks to these uh, disruptions. But they are disruptions and they make it very difficult to bring forward ambitious projects. But that doesn't mean that we will give up. <laughs> and here it is. The Max Planck Dance Movement Library. Ready to be used in scientific experiments. <laughs>